Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make the most delicious chocolate protein shake. This is a great recipe to help support health and weight loss goals, and it's also a delicious option for anybody who's looking for a tasty breakfast idea that's easy, nourishing, and very satisfying. Now the biggest difference between a smoothie and a protein shake is the addition of protein powder. Oftentimes when we're making fruit smoothies, while they are delicious, they don't keep us full for very long because they don't have any protein or additional fiber to help keep us feeling satiated. So you're gonna see with this shake, we're using a good high quality protein powder as a supplement in partnership with lots of fiber and a bit of healthy fat to make a smoothie that's going to keep you so satisfied and satiated and nourished all the way up to your next meal. First up goes in one cup of unsweetened almond milk or any milk you prefer or have on hand. You're gonna see that putting the liquid in first is gonna help this shake blend up really easily. Then I have a big handful of baby spinach. Now you can make this a big handful or a small handful depending on your personal preference, but do note that baby spinach is a very sweet, mild green. So it's a great beginner green when you're trying to work some veggies into your shake. Next, I have one serving of chocolate protein powder. Now, personally, I love whey protein. I just really like the creamy taste and texture, but you can, of course, use a plant-based protein powder if you prefer, and I will be sure to link to some of my favorites down in the description box below. But just note, if you're buying protein powder, you wanna look for simple ingredients and a short ingredient list. Then to really kick up that chocolate flavor, I'm adding an additional tablespoon of cacao powder. You could also use cocoa powder. This is gonna add lots of chocolatey flavor and a good little kick of antioxidants as well. Then I have half of a frozen banana, which is gonna add a bit of sweetness to the smoothie and some good healthy carbs. If you're not a banana fan, I find frozen mango is a great swap. Next up, three quarters of a cup of frozen cauliflower. Not only is this gonna add an extra veggie to our shake, but it's going to bulk up the volume of the shake, make it super rich and creamy, and it's gonna add a bit of fiber, which remember is that magical ingredient that can help keep us satiated and full for longer. If you don't have any frozen cauliflower on hand, then go ahead and sub in some frozen zucchini. That also works really well. Then I have a big fat dollop of almond butter. This could be any nut or seed butter you love or have on hand and a healthy dash of cinnamon just for some extra flavor. I'm gonna blend that all up, let it get nice and rich and creamy. And keep in mind, if you like your shake a little bit thicker, you could toss in a few ice cubes. And if you like it thinner, just add a bit of extra almond milk. This chocolate protein shake is rich, creamy, cold, delicious, nutritious, and so, so satisfying. I can't wait for you to give it a try. If you're looking for more easy, delicious, nutritious recipe ideas to help support your health and weight loss goals, I recommend trying out my green breakfast smoothie and or my chia pudding. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Now, the biggest difference between a boop, between a smoothie and a protein shake is that with boop, <laughs> is that we're gonna be using some boop 